Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the contract called Restoring the Water Tower 1. So we are currently on the first map and we are at the North Warehouse. We need one metal rolls from here. So I actually drove this F750 out a long time ago because I just used it to check what materials were in, oh man, a, a, a warehouse, this specific warehouse, but um, I have a scout vehicle at all the warehouses just so I can quickly check what is in there so I know what I need to grab basically. And at my other warehouse, I only have one metal roll in a cabin, so I have to bring one metal roll from here all the way down there. I could grab it from the, uh, what is it called, the rail, Railroad Warehouse or something like that? I don't know exactly what it's called. But yeah, we could grab one from there and bring it all the way, but I figured this is probably closer, just faster. So the plan is we'll use this F750, bring it all the way there, and actually after this video I'll probably just run it right back, the F750 that is just to use it as a scout again. Um, it just kind of works out that I needed one metal roll and I have the truck bed on this one and I'm like, yeah, why not? So, yeah, it's just more of a convenience factor. I've never gone up there. I keep Every time I drive past this direction, I keep wanting to go up there, but I don't. So I should, I gotta check that out sometime. Um, and uh, once we get there, oop, I was wondering if that would happen. Once we get there, we're going to switch the metal roll over into another truck. I can't remember what truck it was. I think it's... I totally forgot now. For some reason, I want to say the 114 SD, but it doesn't sound right. I don't know what it is. Is it the Fleet Star, maybe? Honestly, I can't remember what truck I brought out there, but... Whatever. You guys will see when we get there. And uh, we'll just stop and grab fuel if it's on fuel. If it's on the cargo, yep, we're not grabbing it. But we have a trailer here, so we'll throw this into either the truck or the trailer, and then we'll put the cabin in the other. So we're going to make it one trip. I usually don't grab trailers. Uh, if you guys have been watching me for a while, I usually use two trucks rather than a truck and a trailer. I just would rather have another truck. And you can just recover them instead of having to um, drive the trailer back and then recover the truck or whatever. But here's where the other warehouse is, so we'll stop here. You can actually see the truck over there. Well, there you can. Alright, so it was, or is, a Freightliner 114 SD. I gotta back up into this zone here. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Let's see. Attach winch. Yeah. I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to get into this zone. There we go. Alright. So let's put... Um, I think I'll put the metal rolls in the truck. Where is it? Oh, there we go. I have one metal roll here. And then we'll do the cabin... in the trailer. And just to show you guys, this is the warehouse we were at. We just went across, followed the road all the way down to here. And so this is the second warehouse we're at. We're going to go meet up with this truck, put that metal roll in there, and then we're going to go down. I don't think we'll take this. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we'll take this road. We'll turn here. We'll take this road up there. So I guess we'll uh, get to going. I think i got to back up a little bit. Straighten it out. Yeah, so we're going to get Water Tower 1 up. And once we do this, I think immediately after this, I'm going to do Water Tower 2. And by immediately, I mean like right when this recording's done, I'll just do that one, I think. 
Not exactly sure, but I think so. And that way we'll have all of the water towers on this map done. We can work on the other ones when we get towards that map. So let's uh, pull up here and park. Here we are. Let's open up the crane. And unpack. Let's go grab this and throw it in the back here. There we go. Uh, well, I thought it fell into place. I was like, what? I think I'm going to drive forward just a bit. There we go. Stop engine, restore crane, change trucks. Let's get this packed. Unpack, pack. Alright, so now we can start moving here. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to get these water towers done. Or maybe not the water towers, but just get some of these contracts out of the way. Because, uh, I don't know, it feels like, like, when I start the phase, and you guys can probably relate to this a little bit, I like to try and, you know, fix all the blockages, and, um, you know, do the bridges, get your garage function, uh, functions back, and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, it takes a while for a lot of those ones, they're usually on the bigger side. So I feel like now we've, we've kind of gone through some of the slower, harder, like, I guess I don't really know how to explain it, but they, the ones you kind of got to do a lot of stuff in order, you know, you have to do three missions for this one and four to get this going and that kind of stuff, usually. Um, so yeah, once, once we get this up, that'll be kind of nice and we can start, I feel like we'll start moving a little bit faster anyways. Um, I think just getting these water towers, you know, it, it allows us to have more locations where we can grab water from. I don't know if this one's all that useful. I haven't really checked where we all got to deliver the water to on these maps. And uh, I think I only did one water delivery on PTS. Might have been two. But yeah, it wasn't very much. So I'm actually not sure where we, where we deliver most of the water to. I don't know if this one this one's very helpful. It's kind of, you know, south further and I know the burned out area is way far north, so I don't know. We'll see. But I know the uh, water tower number two is actually just a little bit closer than the water tower across, or, you know, on the other side of the bridge. So that one definitely will be helpful, but it's not really that helpful just because it's like not that far. like. The other one, you just grab it and go across the bridge and you're in the same spot, so... It will save you some time, but not much. But anyways, I'm, I'm done complaining about it. Um, yeah, we'll get these up, and as I said before, I, I don't really know what we'll do after this. We'll kind of just do a bunch of contracts. I don't know which one's in which order, but we'll probably do a whole bunch of contracts, and then we'll do whatever tasks and contests kind of towards the end. And I checked earlier, and I haven't checked recently. I think I had 18 out of 60 done. So we're about a third of the way there, but I forgot it counts like watchtowers and upgrades as a percentage. So it says like 36% or something like that, I think it was. So we're not quite there with uh, contracts, tasks, and contests wise, but if you just count like everything, you know, watchtowers and all that, we're actually almost 40%. Oh, come on. There we go. It just seems like it's really struggling in here. I know it's probably could be better in high, but nope. Can't, can't keep up with it. But yeah, I just kind of... I try to use trucks that I don't use too often, like every once in a while. 
A lot of the time it's convenient, it's just whatever truck is closer. I know in was it phase I think phase eight I did really, really good about using all kinds of different trucks all the time. Um, I'm trying to think phase seven, I think I did a pretty good job. So far in phase eight it, or phase nine it's been really bad and I don't know. I like to use different trucks, but at the same time, it's like, I don't really want to drive a new truck all the way to this, you know, like say it's on the second map, like all the way over to here to just, you know, if I have 10 trucks already in the area, it's like, so I kind of don't see myself doing very well with this one. I think phase eight, because it had three garages and we got the other one up right away. Um, that's probably a big reason why we were able to use so many different vehicles, because no matter what we were, always somewhat close I would say to uh to a garage so we could just recover and then grab a new vehicle and recover and grab a new one and yeah so I think that's probably the the main reason why we were doing so good with switching everything up in uh, phase eight I mean I guess phase seven was only one map so I should have done well there too right I don't know all right here we are let's get this delivered one cabin two metal rolls Old and rusty to nice, new, clean, and shiny. So 500 for experience and 4,500 for money. But all right, guys, if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as we're trying to grow the channel, and I would appreciate your help in doing that. And odds are, if you guys like this type of content, you guys like content that I've made in the past and content that I'll make in the future. So as always, stay tuned till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.